Hello everyone and welcome back to the video. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the new Centurion for the Romans and I'm going to be in map editor. Unfortunately Romans don't work in map editor right now so I'm in Lith I'm playing as the Lithuanians but uh, you know that's uh, still fine. Uh, basically what this means is that these are not the elite version. I can't use the elite version because I don't have the Romans and I don't have the charge uh, uh, charge attack associated with them, so no unique attack. So it's just going to be fully upgraded Centurions in the Castleage. But still, this unit is so beastly. I'm going to go ahead and break down the stats, and then I'm going to show you guys how it faces against the Knights and against this kind of like Pikeman crossbow mix. And then I'm also going to show the other unique unit, the Dromon. I can't show the Legionary, which is the unique unit infantry. Uh, it's kind of like the champion, because uh, again, that's not really available as far as I know. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys how these guys fare. But first, let's take a look at these absolutely beastly stats. 13 plus 2 damage, guys. That is the same amount of damage as Elitus. 13 base plus 2 is 15 total. They have the same armor as a knight, and then they have one extra pierce armor than a knight. So if you can see the, the difference between them, 13 plus 2, 10 plus 2, 2 plus 2 is fine, 2 plus 2 is here, and then 3 plus 2, and only 2 plus 2 pierce armor. And then lastly, the biggest thing in my opinion, 140 HP, uh, from getting bloodlines and then the base 120 HP. Crazy unit. There's not a single cav unit in the game that is as good as this in Castage. By far the best Castle Age cavalry unit we have. Maybe the Custodier could be somewhat comparable, but Centurion should just be overall way better. And yeah, that, you know, enough talking. Let's go ahead and patrol these guys in. Gonna go ahead and patrol the knights. 40 on 40, by the way. Obviously, the Centurions cost more, but whatever. For the sake of this video, uh, we're gonna. Oh, we're gonna just do 40 on 40 and uh, I expect an absolute blood bloodbath here to be honest because we just have the same stats but 20 extra HP and 3 more damage so they have no stat that's lower so there should be an absolute mop up and indeed it is so yeah like I said this isn't like the same cost obviously our units are more expensive we also need to make a castle for them but absolute insanity 31 of my units remain. This is ridiculous. This is by far the strongest cavalry unit in the game. It jumps straight into number one slot, no doubts in my mind. And it might be actually worth to go for a unique unit with the Civ. Keep in mind, the Romans are going to come to multiplayer in a later patch. So when I heard that, I got super motivated. You know me, I'm a competitive multiplayer kind of guy, ranked kind of guy. And I heard they're coming to ranked, and so... I, I went right to work and, and, and trying to find out how strong they are. All right, next fight. It's 40 Centurions versus uh, 20 Pikes and 40 Thumbring Archers. So let's see how this one plays out. Uh, the three Pierce Armor will make it so the crossbows do only two damage, which is nothing. You have 140 HP. And uh, obviously you have such high attack that we just shred Pikemen. So I expect this to be a stomp as well. And yeah, the crossbows are just tickling this unit. <laughs> nothing else. Literally, it's insane. And here I survive with 31 uh, as well. Oh no, 30. One, one, one of them died at the end. So both of them were stomps. As you can see, uh, it's very difficult to find something that's even comparable to what the Centurion is. Granted, it is very expensive. Like if you go to the tech tree, we take a look at the Romans, right? Uh, it is really expensive, but this is showing the Centurion at like basically half power. So we have 75 food, 85 gold. It is definitely expensive. Um, but apparently it has a resistance to uh, to monks or some, someone told me that. Is that true? Let me know. Because I think monks are the only counter to this unit. Nothing else really will work, if I'm being completely honest. And then even, uh, you know, with... Um, uh, this is without any... Uh, the unique tech. So if you see the unique tech here, Militia Line, Knight Line, and Centurions train 50% faster and receive a charge attack. So I don't, all three of these units receive charge attacks. That's so broken. And then they train faster, which is crazy. Obviously, it's, again, really expensive, but this is just... 100% broken. Elite version is very similar stats to a Paladin. So in my opinion, the Centurion is way stronger in Castle Age compared to anything else. In Imperial Age, it becomes much more realistic of a unit to deal with. So in Imperial Age, I can see you dealing with this, but in Castle Age, three Fierce Armor is way too much. So I think this unit is going to be absolutely busted in Castle Age. And just as a bonus, going to show off the new Drogon, uh, Dromon, sorry. This is replacing the Cannon Galleon. If I can go back to the Romans real quick. Uh, it's replacing the Cannon Galleon, as you can see here. Um, so, yeah, you have the Droman, no Cannon Galleon. And a few other civs got this as well. Like, if you see, uh, I think, Huns, they also, yeah, they also got the Droman and no Cannon Galleon. So, it's a pretty important unit to get familiar with. And, yeah, it's 50 attack, and apparently it's supposed to be a really good against buildings. So, we're going to go ahead and take a look and see how that plays out. Basically, a Mangadol shot. And it does pretty good damage to the castle, but nothing special. It's very similar to a Cannon Galleon. Um, I wish I had units that I can, uh... Oh, actually, wait, it has an attack ground. Can I... Let's try it against my Centurions. Because I just want to see the damage against units. 
And yeah, it's, it's okay against buildings. But if it does damage against buildings, against units, this could be a pretty sick unit. I'm sorry, I should have tried it with ships, but whatever. Oh, wow, it does a lot of damage with units, guys. This unit's going to be insane. It's, it's basically just a magnet on the water. This should be pretty good against ships. That's 50 attack. Why would it not be good against ships? Yeah, this unit does a lot of damage. And it has 12 range. Which outranges... Uh, it outranges the cannon... Uh, sorry, it outranges the galleon by one. But it has one less range than a cannon galleon. So I don't know how this unit's going to go down. I don't know if it's going to be broken or just like pretty good. But it's definitely looking dangerous, uh, to say the least. This is my first time seeing it in action. So yeah, that's a preview of how the Romans are looking like for their units. Thank you so much for watching. This civ is going to be absolutely broken. I do expect some nerfs to come through before we see it on the rank ladder. But uh, yeah, either way, I'm really excited it's coming to the rank ladder eventually. And I look forward to playing with it. And it's really OP. <laughs> Peace, guys.